They are smart, they are skilled, and their faces are sweet. But don't let that fool you. Meet the two newest members of the Talbot County Sheriff's Office. Buck and Chief came from North Carolina to join the squad. They're trained in drug detection, tracking, trailing, and article search. And joining us this afternoon to share even more about Buck and Chief is the county sheriff himself who knows them well, Sheriff Joe Gamble. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me today. Thanks for joining us. So how happy are you about adding these two dogs to the squad? Oh, we're really excited. The um, Buck and Chief um, will be our fourth and fifth dog in um, in, in in at our office. Um, when yeah. I took over six years ago, we didn't have any dogs. So we're really excited because what this will provide us is it's going to give us one dog per shift. Um, so we'll have dogs 24-7, uh, 365, at least one out on the road um, in Talbot County. So we're really excited. That is awesome. So the dogs come trained. Do you need training for their partners who they're going to be partnered up with? Oh, yes. The um, the dogs were fully trained when we purchased them. We purchased them out of North Carolina. But uh, having no uh, canine handlers trained at the sheriff's office, we also had to train them. So the, the trainers went through a six-week course with their dogs, um, with uh, one of the Mar uh, retired Maryland State Police uh uh, canine trainers um, for the state police so we're really excited to right. get the buck and chief as well as our uh, our two canine people trained i don't know how you tell them apart what what kind of dogs are buck and chief so buck and chief are both chocolate labs um and i don't know how to tell them apart either yet <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to give one a promotion so you can know by rank is there any <laughs> particular reason to have uh, chocolate labs i mean are, are labs a good dog for what you're looking for well, the color really does. Yeah, the color doesn't really matter um, on the labs, but um, we have um, three of our dogs are labs, and the reason we like labs is, um, you know, Talbot County has one of the highest populations of retired people in the county. When I first took over, we had a uh, woman who was suffering from uh, dementia uh, who wandered off in a snowstorm, and the state police dog was two hours away because of the travel and the snow, um, which really concerned me. So. The nice thing about labs is we can track people. We can track lost children or lost people or lost, uh, you know, elderly people or whoever. Um, and then we don't, really don't have to worry about them biting. We can also use them in our schools for drug detection. Uh, we're often called to the schools to do random checks, as every sheriff's office is. And um, we don't have to have any concerns because they're very lovable dogs. Um, so in addition to the, to, to the drugs uh, that they can detect, they also uh, do tracking for us. So um, it's kind of a win-win for us. And, and they're great to have at community events as well. You know, kids can pet them and understand what the purpose of their role is and what the purpose of the, the role of police are in society. So it's, it's kind of a win-win for us. So, Sheriff, I, I'm, I'm sh I sure hope that there comes a time of day that uh, you and your deputies can take the badge off and kind of relax on your own. What, what are Buck and Chief like? when they relax so buck and chief and as well as all our dogs they go home with their handlers so it's not like we rotate the dogs to different handlers so they go home with their handlers um they they live inside with the families um, of our deputies and um, they're just like pets when they're home and and uh, their families get to enjoy them um but you know when they jump in that car for their shift they're ready to go um they're all a little wound up um they're uh <laughs> They have a lot of energy, um, so they'll be in the office running around the office when the guys are in the office, and you know everybody in the office loves to see them too. So it kind of, kind of brightens all our days. And I understand they were purchased through generous donations. Yes. Yeah, so this makes our fifth dog in Talbot County. All of which, all of our dogs were uh, donated by um, great citizens, businesses, and and uh, in Talbot County. These two particular dogs, one was donated by. The Lady Patriots of the Eastern Shore, who are based here in Talbot County, and the other one was um, our Eastern Rotary, who were very kind to uh, donate. And it was it was about twenty thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars per dog, so they're they're not cheap, that's for sure. Yeah, no kidding. Talbot County Sheriff Joe Campbell, thank you for talking to us so much this afternoon. We wish you and your dogs the best. You guys stay safe. Thank you so much.